Hey guys, it's Yoshida here. Today is May 1st, nine days till my birthday. Nothing big or anything. So since it's almost my birthday, I've been thinking I need to do a little self-care. So today, my mother has set up a few stations for me to just relax and get some nice self-care done. My mom has set up three stations. First, I'm gonna get waxed, then I'm gonna get my hair washed, and then I'm gonna get a cute little subtle facial. Getting pampered today. <laughs> and these are all things you can like do at home. So like you don't have to go out, spend a lot of money. It's just things you can do in the comfort of your own home and still have fun and treat yourself. I also made myself a little smoothie with my amazing blender. It works very well, got it for Christmas. I just pop a few frozen fruits in there after school. Delicioso. But anyways, let's get into this self-care at home day. So the first station is the waxing station. We have our waxing beads here. I already have some in the pot. I chose the green beads because green is her favorite color. We got some baby powder to prep the skin, some aloe vera, some baby oil, and this is a little microwavable cup Ooh. that we're gonna use so that we don't, just to hold the spoons. Usually if we don't have like the pot right here, you can also put the beads in this cup, but Salon Perfect actually sent us this. It's not sponsored, but they did send us this heating pot, which is faster than to use the cup but we're just gonna use this so we don't spill anything now we normally do not wax or shave her lip I didn't even shave my lip until I was in college even though I had a little stash it wasn't like a thing back then I guess the kids are doing it younger these days and she wants her lip wax and I don't blame her because she is a very hairy child she gets it both from me and her dad I'm not one of us is to blame even though he's hairier. We're gonna la wax her lip first, then her pits, then her legs. I've never got my lip waxed. I did once shave my lip without permission. Wow. I already told you. No, you did not, actually. Actually. You never told me that you shaved your lip. Mom, once you were like, did you shave your lip? And I was like. I've never asked you if you shaved your lip. I asked you if you shaved your eyebrow before. Never, oh my gosh, you don't remember. No, Once we, never told me that. we were on that couch and you said, be honest, did you shave your lip? And I was like, yeah. And you were like, don't do that without my permission. Don't remember that. Oh my gosh. I know you've done a lot of things without my permission, like shave your arms and your eyebrow, but I never- I never that. shaved my eyebrow. I, I was actually looking at them at school. I was like, can you, maybe she can wax my eyebrows too. No, the, you're, now you're taking away from <laughs> They're bushy. All right, but you gotta be still. Go ahead. Here. Mm. Eyes. Oh, it's already dry. I know. It's hard wax. Oh, oh my god, I feel naked. My lips. You got a little tiny stash hairs. Those are the tiniest hairs ever. That's a lot of hair. It's not no Mr. Mario stash. All right, now let's put a little aloe vera on you. Stop touching it. Okay. How does it feel? Naked on my lips. No, no. Time for them pits. No. So in the winter time, ladies don't usually shave their pits, so don't judge her hairy no, pits. No, don't look. Don't judge her hairy pits, they okay? Don't, My pits are hairy right now too because it's not hot enough to need to have your pits out. First, you wanna put some baby powder on them to get rid of that moisture. And I'm gonna go in the direction of the hair. And she has pretty easy pits to wax. Like one strip is usually always enough and all the wax is gone. I mean, all the hair is gone. Find a little lift. You want me to count? Or no count? Oh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> that was mean. Let's see, did we get everything? We got a lot in that first swipe. And that didn't even hurt that bad. Come on, be truthful. 
Did it hurt that bad? No. Mid. Barely. Same thing on this side. A little olive oil. I mean, not olive oil. <laughs> Aloe vera. And then the baby oil kind of helps the um, wax from like sticking everywhere. Kind of like removes it a little bit. Just need a little. Do I have to take another shower to this? I mean, I would if I were you. It just has to be a quick little wash down. It doesn't have to be like a full fledged shower. But I always like to take one before and after. Can I put deodorant? No, don't put deodorant on until tomorrow. All right, let's do the other side. Got a little baby oh powder my. Here. <laughs> they always get baby powder all over me when I go get a wax. Be still. <sighs> they didn't get it all, but we got most of it. All right, we did the pits, the lip. Now it's time for these legs. So scoot on back. I was gonna use um, wax, the, you know, like the roll-on strip that they use at the thing, but it takes longer to heat up. So we're gonna try to use the hard wax for this. This is what her legs look like right now. Not too bad than what they usually look like. You gotta wax like maybe a month and a half ago, two months ago. So they're not as bad as they usually look, but definitely ready for a waxing. I clean off the wax sticks. I'll show you guys how to do that the next round, but you just let it get dry and it peels like right off. It's super easy. And you can't pull it off before it's ready. Otherwise, you'll make a mess. <laughs> oh, it's not bad. It's just the anticipation. Well, stop. Now that you know it's not that bad, you can like stop reacting so dramatically. It's like you're tearing the black off me. You're just getting ashy. So even though this is working, Okay, I feel like when it comes to like your legs and your arms, she's not allowed to wax her arms, but I feel like for your legs, it's better to use the honey wax and the strips because it's stickier and it gets more sections at one time. So this wax, I think it's better for your armpits, your lip, and then like maybe if you have to spot treat, but for a full leg, we're gonna use something different, but it has to get hot. Otherwise, we're gonna use like all these beads <laughs> to wax her legs. And I really like these beads for other stuff, so. This is another waxing contraption that I got off Amazon before Salon Perfect had sent me all this stuff. I'm not a professional and I learned that the hard way, but it's easier to use like on your legs. So that's why I kept it and didn't return it because I know Yoshi likes her legs waxed. It came with these refills, some wax remover, some strips, and this is the cartridge you use to hold it because it's hot when it comes out. So it has to be at a good temperature. It can't be not hot enough or too hot. So it's kind of a little trickier to use, but you always can use test areas. So I get this little cartridge. Slide it in. It kind of pulls it at the same time, so it's a little more painful. <laughs> <laughs> but it's faster to use. Oh, okay. The legs are never that bad. And you can use reuse the same strip a couple times. She's being so dramatic. Look at her reactions. This little piece. Oh my. <laughs> you just said it wasn't hurting. Well, so Ashy, you ripped the black off you. All that hair, bruh. So this is one leg done compared to this leg. This one's nice and smooth. And this one's nice and hairy. So I'm gonna wax her other leg off camera. That way we can get that done really quickly and go on to the next part of her self-care day. All right, look at those nice, smooth, soft legs. They already olive vera up. How are you feeling? Are you feeling cold from all the hair removal? 
Oh, she's a little angry at me. She'll get over it. So Yoshi has been getting breakouts on her forehead. I think it's from the edge control that we've been using. So I'm gonna kind of not use it for a couple of days and try to use something else because she's getting these little tiny, you can actually see it now, these little tiny bumps. But they go away like in a day when she uses this wash that I'll show on the screen right here. We got recommended to it from her TT because the baby used it when she had like baby acne and it worked really well. So anytime Yoshi uses it, it goes away, but it keeps coming back because we keep irritating it with the same product. So that's why we're gonna get her hair washed and get it all the way out her hair and give her a full on, you know, facial so that her skin is cleansed. We can keep the bumps away. So we're gonna switch it. We're gonna wash her hair first because I don't wanna give her a nice clean face and then her hair's dirty. Like, let's make it make sense. Speaking of her hair, she has very bad dandruff. I really need to take her to somebody who can like really tell me what's going on with her scalp because she's had it for quite some time as far as like her scalp getting really thick and dry patches. Let's see if we can find one today. So you can't really see anything right now cause like just the other day I scratched it all out and greased her scalp. But usually like on her scalp, it's like a cake, like a thick piled up dandruff and she's always itching her hair. She can't wear braids for a long period of time because even keeping her scalp moisturized, the braids just irritate her scalp even more if they're in for too long. It's its own little world up in here and it gets really bad sometimes. Like this is actually light. So I Amazoned <laughs> what to do for anti-dandruff. This came up as the number one recommendation. It's not sponsored. I'm not promoting them because I've never used it. So I don't even know if it's going to work on her, but this is what we're going to try today. It's supposed to control flaking, scaling, and itching from dandruff and the fungus that can cause dandruff, which I definitely believe she gets a fungus that causes dandruff because her her little lymph nodes right here, noids, lymph nodes, they get swollen and that's a sign of infection and she won't be sick at all, but her hair will be really bad so she has like one of those heads that need extra help and support so to lay that big old head on back we do wash hair in the sink because we are a black family i need to get her one of those sink pillows but they're like a hundred dollars i'm like girl if you don't lay on the towel i was going to try sulfur eight like i did when i was a kid but we're going to see what the new new is working with she does have high porosity hair i believe that's called when like your hair stays dry no matter how much you moisturize it, deep condition it, it stays, it just sucks up the moisture and feels like you did nothing. So I've been told that heat is the best thing for that. So Yay! I need to buy her a hair steamer and start doing a lot more hot treatments as opposed to like just letting it sit on her hair. Her shampoo went well. She fell asleep. She was snoring. I'm assuming it felt good. Now we're gonna put in this conditioner. It has mint and tea tree oil, which is good. As she said, I fell asleep, so it was very relaxing. My hair isn't like itchy at all anymore. So that massager definitely did its thing. So far, this has been a very relaxing spot, except for the part where I got the black ripped off me. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, it's been a very nice. Thank you, mommy. You're welcome. She's washed, it's calmed out, and then we're just gonna put some of this Miel, Miel, Rosemary Mint, Scalp and Hair Strengthening Oil. Then I like to use this. This is like my second bottle of this because I really like it. It's an almond and avocado moisturizing lotion, but it makes her hair like softer and easier to manage when it's like really dry. scalp's all moisturized. She has a little hair lotion on it. I'm not gonna put anything else on it just to let her hair breathe a little bit. And we just put in a little messy French braid. On to our mini little facial station. All we have here is a face steamer, which she's gonna do first. This is her avocado face wash. We have it in here because we have a really jumbo bottle 
So I put it in here so it's easier for her to use daily and night. She uses this in morning and at night. Then after I wash her face, I'm gonna give her some little eye patches to hydrate under her eyes, put a little lotion on, and she should be feeling real good after that. Does it feel good? Mm-hmm. Should I have it? Girl. I'm so serious. I mean, you live here, so like you can't have it, but can you use it? Clearly. Okay, I would say your pores are nice and open. You can go ahead and lay back on this little blanket right here. But it feels so good. I oh, know, honey. You can do it at the end, maybe. I can't give you a full facial because the goal today is just to get rid of these little tiny bumps. How you feeling? Uh, That's all you gotta say is that? That's good. That's how you're supposed to feel after self-care day. All right, now while she's relaxing and you know taking it all in, I'm gonna get dinner ready and she'll be able to end her beautiful self-care day with a great meal, one that she requested. So let me get that started. She has been sleeping the entire time. Yes, she sometimes sleeps with her eyes open, but she's been asleep since I walked out the living room, like knocked out, snoring. But dinner is done, so I'm about to have to wake her up. She usually likes her pasta without any shrimp, nothing in it, but I just put a couple pieces in hers. It looks yummy. This is what it looks like in the pan with all the rest of the stuff in there that she's missing out on. Let's go wake her up. Honey. Ta. Wake up, honey. Dinner's ready. Yeah, he's been in a cocoon. It's so difficult waking her up sometimes. Come on. All right, Grace, dig in. Tell me how you like it. Good. Nice. Enjoy. I hope you guys enjoyed, I know I did, my relaxing spa self-care at home day. Hopefully I get to do this stuff like more often. As you should. Yeah, treat yourself. Can't wait for my birthday and I'm going to be all refreshed for it. But that's all for now. So you know what I'm about to say. Yoshida, 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 God. Yoshida, 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 God. Love ya.